Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Nadia and this is the place where we get real. And today I am coming to y'all with another unedited video, mainly because I've now given my video editor a very big backlog of work. So that's going to be keeping him busy for a while and I wanted to get a video to y'all in the meantime. And apparently, based off your feedback from last week's video, you'll love to hear an unedited video. You didn't even need all of the cuts and the music and the little bits. Should I fire my video editor? No, that would be bad. I think well, I think we still need I think we still need some jazzy editing from time to time. We're not going to pull my video editor out of a job, but for today at least I'm going to be coming to you unedited and I'm going to be coming to you with a little bit of an extension. Oh, coming to you. So many puns. We are going to be coming. Well, I hope some people are going to be coming after they finish watching this video because I'm going to share with you some of my favorite girl on girl tips. Now, a while ago I did do a video where I trialed out seeing if I could get around YouTube's censorship demonetization stuff because the problem is this is a channel that focuses on sex education. But if I say those words too much and if I refer to words which should be normal words, words which are just parts of our bodies, my videos unfortunately get demonetized. And in order for me to keep making content, y'all, I need to make some kind of an income. Otherwise, mama's gonna have to quit YouTube and get a job. And don't really wanna do that. So I'm going to try to see if I can get around getting my video demonetized by being a little bit creative with my language. So hopefully y'all can still follow and you'll know what I'm referring to when I talk about this stuff. But moving forward, instead of saying sex, I am going to be saying physical intimacy, which I've said in a previous video before. And I'm talking about the girl on girl kind of physical intimacy. And I'm sharing with you my favorite tips when it comes to this, because there are, honestly, there are so many. And while I really think at the end of the day, physical intimacy is just physical intimacy. It doesn't matter the gender. It doesn't matter the sexuality. It doesn't really matter even if you're doing it on your own or you're doing it with one person or you're doing it with multiple people. It really is all physical intimacy. But there are some little tips and tricks that are particularly helpful when that physical intimacy involves two people who identify as women. So I'm going to share my faves. Are these ones that I have personally used, like from personal experience? Have I personally road tested them? I mean, look, I take research very seriously on this channel. If I'm going to recommend a tip, I'm going to go away and I'm going to thoroughly research it with as much physical intimacy as I need to have with other people who identify as women in order to, uh, to bring you all the best tips. So here I am. And I'm also trying to be a bit more inclusive on this channel as well. So you will notice that I'm trying to be a little bit less gendered with my language. So um, yeah, I'm talking about all people who fit into the femme or women identifying category when I'm talking about this. Right, let's get into my first little favorite tip. And honestly, my first favorite tip is to go slow. And I know this is something that you've probably heard me mention before on other videos talking about physical intimacy that's a little bit more hetero, but that's because going slow is important for all kinds of physical intimacy. And the number one reason it's particularly important for physical intimacy that involves women is because we have a connection between our brain and our V word. And our V word, it actually needs time in order to get like lubricated in order to get nice and juicy, like that Cardi B song, WAP, it's a wet ass, you know what. In order for it to get like that, it needs time. That stuff doesn't happen instantly. And so going slow allows time for that to build. And when we do have a WAP, 
Everything we do after that is going to feel great. If we rush in and we are not adequately lubricated, then things can feel really uncomfortable. So give yourself time to get lubricated. That's my favorite thing. My favorite thing to do is just have a ton of kissing, like making out like teenagers and yeah, like some, uh, you know, bit of heavy petting, maybe a little bit of caressing. We like a bit of that and just let yourself get like in the mood. So that's, that's like, that's, that's an absolute prerequisite for me with any kind of physical intimacy I am having. And then the other one is obviously to go down town, if you know what I mean. I'm trying to be so careful here with my words. We'll see how we go. We'll see if we get demonetized. Look, if my YouTube channel falls apart in a few weeks, y'all gonna know why. <laughs> um, so going down on each other it's definitely a lot more common when it comes to woman loving woman kinds of intimacy because it's a great way to stimulate each other now in terms of where to focus on and what to do you really want to be focusing on the wow just realized i don't know if i've got a euphemism for this ah yes i do your bean you know how we talk about flicking that thing, the bean? That's what we want to be focusing on. We want to be focusing on the bean. Y'all, if this video ends up being too cryptic, just tell me in the comment section and I'll just never do it again. But I feel like long-term followers know exactly what I'm talking about here because that's where all the nerve endings are. There's around 8,000 nerve endings there. So that's gonna be the best chance of getting your partner to the big O and going down is a really great way to get there. Now, last week I did make a video sharing some of my top tips for going down. And so I'm going to link that up here uh, so y'all can go and check that out. But one of my best tips for that, which I'm going to quickly go over here, is not to think of it as this small, like round thing, but to actually think of it like a square shape with four sides. Because most women have a more sensitive side and most people, when they're having physical intimacy with a woman, just treat our bean, as it were, they just treat it as one whole thing and they'll just sort of rub it and rub it around or, or with their tongue or their finger or whatever. But actually, what's a lot more effective is to find the more sensitive side. And so you're going to want to do that, obviously, by tuning into your partner, what kind of sounds they're making, how their body is moving. And you can usually figure out which is their more sensitive side. It might be the top, the bottom, or either side. That's why I like to think of it as a square. You can also, and I really encourage people to do this, talk to your partner and ask them which side feels better for you. Because pretty much most women have one side, which is a little bit more sensitive. And then the best thing you can do here, this is a game changer, tease the opposite side. So tease the less sensitive side and keep just going over every so often to that more sensitive side. So tease, 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 go over for a bit, back to teasing. Now, this also leads on to my next tip, which is lots of teasing. You don't want to overdo the teasing. Too much teasing can actually get to a point where the person's like, are we getting, are we getting on with this already? Like I'm getting a bit over this. So you want to make sure you're not going too far with it. But basically the reason that it's really good to tease your partner, specifically when it comes to women loving women, is because again, it's going to allow time for that wet ass, we know what, to get nice and juicy because it needs that time. And anticipation has been shown, like in research, to actually help women get more lubricated. So one of my absolute favorite things to do before I even touch the bean or before I even touch the V word, before I've even put anything near the V word, once my partner is undressed, I like to just lightly kiss and lick along the thighs. So just going in and getting really close in to the V word. And even what you can do the outline of the V word, you can use your tongue to draw an outline along either side of the V word, but don't actually touch your tongue on it. Just outline it on either side. And then what you can do to really tease it is to put your mouth basically right near the bean part of the V word and 
blow like hot, gentle breath onto it so that your partner can feel that your mouth is getting really close, but it's not touching. So don't actually touch with your tongue or your mouth or your lips. Just do that blowing. It's like going to be like a teasing thing. And then you can go back to outlining around the V word and then going back down the thighs and back up. And you can be also just with your hands, just grabbing them and smoothing up their body. Make sure you're not neglecting other parts of the body while you're down there. You can be up and touching these other parts as well while you are down there doing some hot breath. And then when you can feel that your partner just cannot take it anymore, that is when you can engage your tongue and do that teasing with the different sides of the bean. And then after you've done that for a couple of minutes, you can do another form of teasing, which is with the fingers. This one is going to drive her wild. You're going to get two fingers and you're going to get ready to do that come here the motion, which I talked about in my other video that I've linked. And I talk about it in all my videos when I talk about using fingers on V words, because we've got a spot inside us that is very sensitive that can help bring us to the big O and we need it to be palpitated with fingers which the best way to do it is by that acting as if you're calling someone to come hither when you're inside but you're not actually doing like that by the way it's a very gentle just palpitating motion and you will find that spot inside the woman you will find that spot because it's about an inch and a half inside and it's like a more soft spongy almost feels a bit more juicy as well. When you go inside, you'll feel that more soft, spongy section on the front wall of the V word. You'll find it there and you can palpitate against it. Now, one of the best things you can do is to not go all the way in, to just get your fingers to the entrance. So let's imagine this is the entrance like that. I'm trying to find a good way to um, describe this. So let's imagine this is the entrance. You're going to, no, wait, let me do it like this. You're going to, instead of going all the way in like that, actually, let's go side on. Oh my gosh, see, this is why I have an editor. Instead of going all the way in like that, what you're going to do is just tease around the opening. So get those fingers and just go around in a circle. You can almost sort of slightly, very gently, not using a lot of force, stretch it up and down. Just the opening, just stretching up and down and going around while your tongue is on the bean. Now, the reason that's going to drive her wild is because her bean is already getting stimulated. So she's going to be getting very excited, but she's going to be wanting you to go inside, but you're not doing that. You're like teasing. So she's going to be practically begging for you to just come on and just get in there. So do it for maybe a minute. And then what you can do is just very gently slide in once and do a couple of palpitations and then go out and then go back to focusing on the bean with your tongue. And then after that, you pretty much just want to go in quite firm. Like not, you, you're not going to be going in hard. Like you never want to be pounding hard, not until at least she's relaxed. And if you're going to go hard, I would usually wait till you had had a partner ask you to go hard and never just assume a partner wants it hard because some people can be sensitive and it can be painful, but you can start actually going in quite firm and doing that palpitation while you're keeping your tongue there. And whoo, she's going to love that because you've had that whole giant build up. And then another really fun thing to do and a really enjoyable thing to do. And one of the most reliable ways to get her to the big O is to, to lay on your back and to have her straddle over your face. So she's going to have her, you know what, in your face. And you're going to focus your tongue and you're gonna use the tips that I used in my last video about keeping the tongue very flat. So very like, and very, um, you wanna keep it very soft as well. Don't do a hard tongue. So just kind of like you'd be licking like an ice cream. That's what I think of it as like, licking an ice cream. So you're going to do it like that. And then while you have her there, you're going to put your, those two fingers. So you're going to have to go up under your chin and put those inside her and press. And because of the position that her body's going to be in to be straddled over your face, when you go inside with the fingers, they're going to hit basically perfectly against that special spot inside her, the one that we call the G that spot, 
I'm trying so hard here not to get... Oh, it's going to be so interesting, honestly, to see if I get demonetized. <laughs> this has been a very saucy video, but trying not to use any saucy language. So, uh, yeah, it's been interesting. We'll see how we go. I'll let you know next week. But that is going to be the perfect position because she's angled. You're going to hit it really quite deeply and to have your tongue on the bean and to be doing this and she will also be able to just gently kind of bounce a little bit up and down on your fingers to really get it in the perfect position for herself and even encourage her to just grind herself on your tongue because that's allowing her to position it perfectly very 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 high chance of being able to bring her to the big o in that position because it's just perfect positioning for the bean and for the g word so hopefully that video made some sense hopefully you enjoyed it if you don't want me to <laughs> try to be like censored next time just let me know in the comment section below uh next week i will be back with a normal edited video i'm going to be having heaps more queer tips around intimacy but also i'm also going to be having some good old-fashioned hetero ones as well so stay tuned for that and uh i will see you all in the next oh and don't forget to subscribe you guys if you are new here then make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you know when my videos are going live. Otherwise, YouTube won't tell you when they're going live. No matter how much you like me, they won't let you know, even if you subscribe. So hit the notification bell. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos that are this same type of content, these same sort of tips. And I will see you all in the next video.